In this video, I'm covering how to install Minecraft mods. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. Mods add a whole new functionality to Minecraft and they're definitely worth trying out to see if you like them. So any further ado, make sure you watch this video right until the end and let's go and get into this. The first step is, is to go and open up a web browser. Now I'm personally using Google Chrome and then you want to come to a search engine. So what we're going to do is go and search something called Forge. Now Forge is essentially an add-on for Minecraft which goes and allows us to run mods on Minecraft. So it's really, really key to this guide. So all you want to do is come on Google and search for Forge, just like so. And the official website is at the top which is files.minecraftforge.net. So click here, it's going to take a moment to load. And there are so many different versions of Forge we can go and get. As you can see, we've got all the different versions down here. Something really important to note is, is the version of Forge we have, we have to go and get the exact same version of mods for Minecraft. So for example, if we go and get Forge for 1.17, we have to go and get Minecraft mods for Minecraft 1.17 as well. So it's something really important to know. If there's a certain mod you want to go and get, then make sure you go and get the exact same version of Forge, which is available for on Minecraft. But for now, I'm just gonna go and get 1.18.1. So here we are, 1.18.1, and then I'm gonna go and click on Installer, just like so and it's going to go and take you to an ad wall you've got to wait for a few seconds as you can see in the top right there's a counter and then we can go and click skip so go and click skip and just be very careful of what you click on here as well um, as it may be malicious so go and click skip and it's going to go and start the download as you can see and it's really really small so once it's finished, you now need to go and locate this download. So it's either going to be in your file explorer in your downloads tab, or it's going to be in the bottom of your browser. And I'm personally just going to go and put it onto my desktop just like so. And here we go. Now I'm going to go and minimize off of Chrome just like this. Now, the next thing you want to do is go and double click on Forge. Now, a few things may happen. So when I personally go and double click on it, I go and get the installer, just like so, the mod system installer. However, you may go and get something, for example, like a folder open with files in it, um, nothing may happen, or another program opens. Now, this is either because you don't have Java installed or it's not launching with Java. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you've gone and got Java installed. So go and open up a web browser. So I'm going to come back to Chrome, and then all you want to do is go to Java, go and search for Java or just go to java.com and here we are. Go and click on free download just like so and then you want to go and click on agree and start free download and it's going to go and do it. Java is completely safe, it's a well known program. Then once you've gone and installed it, come and minimize off of it just like so and then you want to come back to Forge and you want to go and click on it once so it's highlighted and then go right click on it and go and click open with. As here we can go and make sure we're launching Forge with Java. So go click open with just like so and then you may need to go and click on more apps and then you can scroll down here and you can go and find Java and then once you've found it, go and click on it so it's highlighted and then make sure you go and select always use this app to open .jar files and then go and click OK. Then the mod system installer is going to go and launch just like this and all you want to do is make sure install client is selected and then you can go and press OK. Here we are, it's now building processes and doing some downloads. Then once it's finished, you're going to go and get this complete notification here and you can go and click OK. So now all we want to now do is go and find a mod we want to go and install, in my case for Minecraft 1.18.1, but in your case it's going to depend on what version of Forge you downloaded. So let's go back to our Chrome browser just like this and a really great site I recommend is Curse Forge. It's got a ton of mods on there but feel free to go and search any mod site you would like. Just make sure it's safe and trusted. So go and search for Curse Forge and we can come to curseforge.com and here we are. Then all you want to do is come to the top where it says browse and then we can go and select Minecraft and then it's going to go and take us to all the mods and this is in this case mod packs um, and we can go and find one. So I'm going to go and click on mods just here and then the mod I think I'm going to go for is just enough items. So go and click on it just like this and wait for it to load and then all you want to do is go and click on download. It's going to download file and as you can see the download will begin in a few seconds and hopefully it's going to begin just now. Then it's going to go and drop down here once again. Then all we want to do is come and drag it onto our desktop or you need to go and find it so it should be in your file explorer in your downloads folder. I'm going to go and drag it onto my desktop just like this. Then we're now finished with our browser so we can go and close off it and press the close button and now let's go and launch up the Minecraft launcher. Here we are on the Minecraft launcher and we need to go and make sure we go and start Minecraft with Forge. So to do that come to the left of the play button where a latest release is probably selected or just your version of Minecraft and then you want to make sure Forge is selected just here 
or you can come and click on this top row up here and go and click on installations and here is Forge as well and you can go and click play as well and now it's going to go and prepare and launch up to Minecraft. Minecraft is now launched as you can see and you're going to know Forge has successfully been installed because we've got this mods button here which means we can go and install mods. So go and click on mods just like so and then all you want to do is go and click on open mods folder. Then it's going to go and take us to where we can go and put our mods. So the mod I went and downloaded is just here. So either you can drag it in or you can go and copy and paste. It's gonna be fully up to you. Then you can go and close off the mods folder just like so. And you want to go and click on done and then quit game as we need to go and relaunch Minecraft. So now I'm back after relaunching Minecraft. And as you can see, it now says three mods loaded. And if we go and click on mods, as you can see, just enough items is there. If you're having any issues with Minecraft crashing while you're trying to load it up after relaunching it, this is because you've got an outdated mod or just a wrong version for the mod. So in this case, you need to go and install a different version of Forge to match that mod or install a different version of the mod um, as they need to be both exactly the same and then you're not going to have any issues with the crashing. But there we go, that is how you can go and install mods in Minecraft and I'll quickly get into a game and show you it. Here we are in a game and if I go and press into my inventory, as you can see, it goes and gives us all these blocks. And if I go and click on it, it then goes and shows you the recipe. So it's a really useful mod, um, especially if you're sort of new to the game or just, you know, you want to know the recipe. You can go and click on it and it's going to go and tell you exactly how to go and craft it. And just a quick note as well, be very careful with when playing mods on servers, simply because they're commonly not allowed and you just need to go and check with the server's rules before doing so. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.